Ready. Okay, this is game number five. Should wait for the countdown to go. I am yelling against the countdown. Two, one, zero. Loading. Okay, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the best of nine all kill format clan war between Miraculous Gaming and Team Gravity. Here we have uh, Krios versus Kaizo. The score is now 2 2 to all. So we actually have. Wow. Whoa! 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 So we have two probes going out uh, right away, trying to scout both bases, seeing exactly where he is so he can get that proxy up as soon as possible. Only five probes mining this late in the game. This 40 seconds in is the pink Protoss player from Miraculous Gaming. That would be Kaizo in the top left-hand corner of Frost Ellie and his opponent, the blue Zerg player from Team Gravity for the third time in a row. Looking to take the third game in a row. We have Krios, the blue Zerg player, and this proxy will go down and this Overlord will not be able to see it in time. He's actually putting the pylon down right there. And he, he knows where he is. The pr he is not going to be able to see it. He would be able to see a gateway, though. Ha if it if it gets put down right here, that actually will get mm, potted uh, just barely. And oh my goodness, he is just barely going to see it, it looks like. Ugh. He's going to get out of range, is he? And he's actually putting it in the perfect spot. And the Overlord is going to be out of range by the time he puts the next one, it looks like. That is absolutely perfect there. Uh, for Kaizo. We do have a pool first coming out for the Zerg for Krios and um, absolutely completely unscouted is uh, Kaizo. So he is going to he is going to uh, get that pretty much pretty much perfect uh, situation for Kaizo. Uh, we actually have the drone going out for the expand. Uh, not gonna not gonna actually be able to scout the Protoss in time to know what's up. Uh, definitely not. Uh, in time at all. Gateway's actually about to be finished. Pool is going to finish, and a queen will be started right away, but not before two zealots are chrono boosted out, and they will wreak havoc on the drone line immediately. That one zealot is already being chrono boosted out. He actually stopped at ten drones or ten probes. Some people go to eight. Eight? <laughs> That's less than ten. Some people go to twelve. Some people like to go to twelve, uh, but he stopped at ten just gonna, just to get that extra zealot out uh, that much earlier. And uh, chronoing or that extra gateway out that much earlier, and he actually chronoing out two zealots. He's going to have three zealots, and as soon as he has three zealots, he's just going to go to the uh, thing, and uh, Overlord does go down, and two wings are out, but they are in the wrong position. A, a third drone actually going to go to the uh, third, make a third uh, very quickly, and there's three zealots, and he is going to go over there with the help of the probe, and just as the queen comes out, but three zealots are here to greet him. The Drones are going to hold position while the queen tries to do what he can, and one ling, uh, not, not much. The drones are actually in the bad position, not uh, protecting the queen whatsoever, and these drones are actually going to have to attack and lose ton of drones here. And uh, one zealot already out, chrono boosted there. Uh, lots of zealots, or lots of zealots, lots of drones going down. Already uh, six workers killed, and the queen about to die, and no mining whatsoever so far. Uh, uh, so far, he does have 300 minerals, but that's not very much at all. He's actually killed nine drones so far, ten drones, and the worker count is eight to nine, but four zealots and one ling, and there's the ellipsis uh, alternate form of the GG, and Kaizo takes game number five for Miraculous Gang, making it one, or a pff, one, what the hell am I talking about? Making a 3-2.